On Raw in 2010, John Cena got ambushed by Sheamus and Batista. Luckily, Mark Henry is there to make the save and even the playing field. However, Batista's reaction was a bit delayed and he ended up falling down after Henry headbutted him. In 2010, Titus O'Neil made his WWE debut as a rookie on NXT. The key word there is rookie. On the final episode of Season 2 of NXT, Caval won the competition. Titus O'Neil, as well as the other rookies, rushed the ring and a brawl broke out. MVP ran in and gave O'Neil the player's boot, but Titus didn't sell it at all. Like I said, rookie. At least he gave us the world slide eight years later. The main event of the 1996 Survivor Series saw Shawn Michaels defend the WWE title against Psycho Sid. Sid was bigger and more powerful than Shawn on, but I didn't think he was this much stronger. Some of the most bizarre stuff happens once WWE goes off the air. One match in 2005 saw Triple H and Ric Flair team up to take on Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton. During the fight, Orton caught Triple H with a boot. The game stood there stunned and was unable to move for over a minute until finally falling down. Later in the match, HBK clonked Ric Flair and Triple H's heads together and the two took a long moment before coming down. The King of Kings and the Nature Boys performances were bad, but for all the right reasons. Seth Rollins and John Cena were all business for their tables match at TLC 2014. However, there was still room for some funny business. Cena gave Seth an attitude adjustment on the announcer's table. Michael Cole was doing commentary and thankfully didn't get hit, but did faint from the excitement as he dramatically and gracefully fell out of his chair. The goal of the Royal Rumble is to stay in the ring for as long as you can. Goldust must have forgotten that. During the 2006 Rumble match, the Bizarre One got kicked by RVD. Van Dam wasn't able to eliminate Goldust, but that's okay, because Goldust decided to just throw himself over the top rope. If you judge a WWE match based on how close it is to a real fight, then this is probably the worst WWE match ever. At SummerSlam, two wrestling icons, Hulk Hogan and Shawn Michaels, went one-on-one -on -one in a dream match. However, Shawn Michaels acted more like a fish out of water than a showstopper because he flipped and flopped all over the ring. Apparently, Shawn Michaels was mad because he and Hogan were supposed to have a rematch where Shawn would win. However, Hogan agreed only to do the one match where he won. This made Michaels the ticked off kid and the performance Sean gave at SummerSlam was the result. Ironically, 15 years later, Michaels would do the complete opposite. In 2020, Ric Flair returned to WWE and began managing Randy Orton. The partnership was short-lived as the Viper decided he didn't need the Nature Boy and attacked Flair. The next week, Shawn Michaels came out to confront Randy. However, HBK ended up getting an RKO from out of nowhere and a punk kick to the head. Despite receiving two devastating finishing moves, Shawn Michaels acted like he was just a little dizzy. Michaels got criticism from fellow wrestlers for this awful performance, and rightfully so. While they aren't the stars of the shows, WWE commentators do play an important role. Their reaction can make moments feel big, but they can also do the opposite, as seen by Todd Grisham's reaction to Christian returning after over three years away. It, it's Christian! At the AEW Revolution pay-per-view in 2021, 13 different tag teams competed in a casino battle royale match. One of the men participating was Evil Uno, but his elimination is what you want to see. Uno got hit by a Hurricane Rana, but waited until after the move was finished to start running. It ended up looking like the Dark Order member eliminated himself in the most cartoon way possible. Hulk Hogan might be one of those famous wrestlers of all time, but there's a reason he never took off as an actor. Where am I? There's no Hulkamaniacs here! I've never been here before! Ah! It's not hot! The reason the water wasn't hot was because it was... On an episode of AEW Dynamite, the Young Bucks were taking on SCU. After the match, the Dark Order invaded the ring and started beating everyone up. Dustin Rhodes, aka Goldust, joined the fight but got attacked too. At least he was supposed to, but one of the Dark Order creepers instead chose to punch the air around Rhodes' head. In 2015, Mark Henry was taking on Sheamus. The Celtic Warrior eventually went for a bro kick that didn't come anywhere near Henry's head. Despite that, Mark still acted like it did. Christian is an incredibly underrated wrestler, but even the very best have made mistakes. In 2006, Christian found himself in a fatal four-way match against Sting, Samoa Joe, and Scott Steiner. At one point, Steiner grabbed Captain Charisma by the head, only for Christian to throw himself into the edge of the ring. Don't you love it when the wrestlers beat themselves up? 
Despite being one of the most iconic WWE moments, Vince McMahon did a terrible job taking the Stone Cold Stunner, both in 1997 and in 2022. However, the award for the worst stunner goes to Vince's wife. In 2005, Stone Cold returned to WWE. He went on to give stunners to every single member of the McMahon family, including Linda. However, the former president of WWE did a terrible job taking Steve Austin's finishing move. To be fair, Linda wasn't a wrestler. John Cena, on the other hand, has no excuse. At WrestleMania 34, two legends collided when John Cena took on The Undertaker. Despite them both being goats, there was a pretty bad spot. The dead man went for a big boot, and you could fit a truck in the space between Cena's head and Undertaker's foot. Of course though, Cena acted like it hit him, even though the move clearly did it. Eva Marie might be the most hated female WWE wrestler ever, and she didn't do much to try and win fans over. In her Raw debut, Eva Marie had to say just two sentences and they both sounded terrible. You know, Jerry, I don't like how you're looking at me. My name is Eva Marie and I'm here to make a name for myself. Not only that, but Eva then gave one of the worst slaps ever to Jerry Lawler. These moments have all been pretty bad, but check out this video to see some 1000 IQ WB moves.